Okay, today I'm going to have you try something new. Um, some of you may have done this before, but if not, from LCPS Go, you're going to find New Zella. Okay, that's this icon right here. Now, because I haven't seen you log in yet, I don't know if it's going to log you in automatically. If it logs you in automatically, there's no problem. It may put you right in my classroom. Um, I'm going to log out so I can show you what you need to do to log in. So let's pretend that this did not log me in. So you came here and it said you need to sign in. So you will click sign in. And then it's going to come here just like when you first go to Seesaw or any of the other sites. And you're going to click to log in with Google. Now, I'm going to pretend I'm a student because I want you to see what it looks like. So I'm going to use my personal login to try this and see if it'll work. So you're going to click your name. Okay. And then I want to... Um, I don't know if it's going to do this or not, but I'm going to just try, there we go, to say allow. And you might not see it exactly like this, but just in case, I want you to know. So, um, I'm trying this out. Let's see if this says yes. I think I'm going to have to hit no. Try yes first and see if it works and log in with Google. If not, then you're going to try to go this route and join the teacher's class by saying yes. And then you're going to put in this code, RUC7GM. Write it down and then you'll see that that's the intermediate class. Okay, so write this code down. I'll wait. Once you have that on a piece of paper, you can follow these same directions and you hit finish. And then it lets me join the class. Okay, so I joined the same class that you're going to see. So it's going to bring you to here. Now that might have looked a little different, like I said, because it may have logged you in automatically from Google Classroom. You'll have to try it to know for sure. Okay, once you get here, there's two articles to read. I've already um, changed the reading level a little bit, so they won't be too hard, but I want you to go ahead and I would read this one first, even though it's um, at the bottom. So you're going to click on it. You are going to read the article, okay? And while you're reading the article, I want you to realize that you can read it just on your own, like you would in silent reading. But you also have the choice of, and this is for some of you that this might seem a little hard for, you can highlight, starting here at the beginning of the article or at whatever part, and you can use the read-write um, add-on that we've seen before. Watch play. Arts and culture. What is mythology? Save, share, print, an image of an engraving of the god Neptune riding horses. So this is reading under race. the picture. Image one, an engraving by English artist Walter Crane of Neptune, the Roman god of the sea, and his horses. Image from Getty Images by now Encyclopedia I realize, Britannica, adapted by Newsly staff, published. Now I realize you don't need all of that information. But it will keep reading and it can read the article to you if you need it. Okay, so if you start from here and you push play, okay, and you can let it read the article if you need that. When you get to the bottom and you finish the article, you can take the quiz. You also can practice the power words. The power words are the different vocabulary that it's underlined. So this, you could click suffering. And it tells you the definition. Okay. If you are suffering, you are in pain in your mind or body. Okay. And then you go back to reading. If you want to practice these words, you'll click here. Okay. When you finish this part, I want you to click over here where it says activities. 
Okay, you've got the same information, but you also have a short writing prompt. This one says, write a short paragraph that explains the central idea of the article. That means what is the main thing that you're learning from it? Use at least two details from the article to support your response. So I want you, I want you to give this a try. So an example would be, tell me what this is mostly about, and then tell me two things that help you to know that's what it's mostly about, okay? That's what it's asking you to do here. And then when you finish, you're going to hit submit, okay? So then you will go back and you will read the next article, okay? So I know that's the first time we've done it. I want you to give it a try. It does not have to be perfect, I want to make, uh, but I do want to make sure that everybody tries to do it. I will see you later. Bye.